YouTube, what is up with y'all today? This is Nail Goodfella, Goodfella Nail coming through with another sneaker opinion, another sneaker review. Y'all know what I do, guys. I just go over the. I didn't even get a chance to wear these sneakers because I'm just so on the fence with them. Now, with these right here, it was kind of like a last minute cop. I'm surprised I even got them. I'm surprised I even hit. Uh, but these are actually Air Max 90s. Now, this is a special kind of like colorway. A um, few people actually reviewed these on YouTube. Um, so these not really too much slept on. Regular price is $140 plus tax. Uh, and the color is ghost green and black. Typical, typical Nike uh, box. That red and white. Um, Here we go. I got mine in a nine and a half. Now, I was definitely on the fence with this sneaker. But see, this is one of those things where... You had to cop just to buy it, just to see it. It's ridiculous that the sneaker game has gotten to that point now. You know, just to see a damn sneaker. Like, I literally have to buy the sneaker. Like, I can't just, oh, okay, let me think about it. Let me watch a few reviews on it, da-da-da. Now, these kind of just hit me out of nowhere. I didn't watch any previous reviews. I will say that. But, um, now, I'm going to just say straight off the bat, even though I do like these fun neon green lime-like colorways, I will say that. I do like the duck camo reverse, uh, the regular um, one better that came out before this. Um, I think that one is a little bit better with the whole infrared and all that. Is that infrared? Like, I like that more than this. This is okay. This is okay. This is not terrible. Uh, but as, as far as just for starters coming out the gate, I like that a little bit more. But as far as like a typical review on this, this one actually feel like that recrafted uh, Nike Air Max 90 and you do get two shoelaces with it and you get that iconic plastic Nike Air hang tag going to the insole you got the same ghost green with the black now after the release was over, these would these was hitting for like 220, which is, was a surprise to me. But now they around as at least as of this recording, they're going for around mm, like 180 or something like that. So around a little bit under what the uh, the 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 reverse duck camo joints go for. Um, again, I like the as far as comparison go. You know, I like that colorway a little bit more. Um, with my thing with this. I was on the fence about this. I was like, well, at least let me get it to see if I actually like it. So this is one of the sneakers that I'm sitting on to see if I actually like it or not. Um, if not, you know, I'll just sell this for the uh, reverse duck camo because that sneaker is starting to grow on me because I like that red, the way that red just actually hit. But as far as this one go, I just want to, you know, since I got it, I might as well just show it to you guys. You know, maybe some other guys might have it or whatever, or they might want it. Um, if you're used to the recraft series, it's in that similar vein as far as the way the build is and the construction, especially with this being a 30-year anniversary of the Air Max 90. Also, too, is the 30-year anniversary of the Jordan 5, but don't see too many stuff, too much stuff about that. And you do got the ghost green Air Max bubble. Obviously, you guys can see the black. Now, one of the things I was definitely curious about is the camo. Now, the camo does have like more like of a fuzzy-like material on the top like through the actual panel not through the paneling but through some of the camo like the beige areas are actually new book like but the actual print itself on the new book on at least on the khaki or on this beige um that's where you can actually feel like it feels like it's a little bit more like like hand painted for some reason it's not necessarily a bad thing but it looked like they definitely put a little time in on this sneaker um yeah definitely a clean sneaker nice for the Nice for uh, nice for the summer. Now this wasn't ones I was contemplating on keeping because these will probably actually look good since I actually wear bright colors like this too sometimes. So it's kind of like one of those, uh, take it or leave it. But if I had to pick and choose, reverse camo all day. Now I don't want to discourage anybody from you know getting this sneaker. This is definitely a fly sneaker. Got on the Air Max 90, and I do like the fact that the Air Max 90 is being souped up and dressed up in these new duck camo colorways um 
They also got another colorway dropping that's more so geared towards the fall in a way, kind of more cabin-esque kind of like vibes. But yeah, so at least as far as on my list, as far as it go, this will probably be either second or third out of the camo list. Um, not really too much of a deal breaker. Obviously, I'm still showing this to you guys. I didn't just sell it immediately or I don't plan on selling it in the next week or nothing like that. I'm just still kind of like feeling like, uh, do I have a fit to go with this? Maybe I might come around to liking it because with my luck, man, I've been sold this sneaker. The price has been went like $300 and I've been like, okay, I think I like these now. I should have just kept them and this, this has been on one of my regret selling lists or something like that. So <laughs> I don't want to have that happen to me. So more off into the materials, you do got leather on the swoosh, mesh on the toe box, typical Air Max 90 build, mesh along the sock line around the ankle. Going to the bottom, you do got that waffle like traction. And this, the like the green on here definitely reminds me of like a now and later candy from back in the day. Then you also got that nice lime green at the top, like that ghost green at the top. Now, as far as the laces go, the white is okay, but I might personally might just put the black in. And, um, you know, as far as this color lace, like, man, I've been looking for a green like this for a while to freak on some of my sneakers. You know, I, I'm, I'm the lace swap king. You know, like, yeah. Some people ask me, you know, where I get the inspiration from and all that. It's just kind of like a, a, a feeling, more so like a style preference, you know, just let things flow. Um, so it just don't like look like crazy hideous. Going to the back though, you also have the, they spruce that up and actually put uh, ghost green through the back. So this sneaker, I think they did, they did right, man. I mean, I do got a feeling that the reverse duck camo feels like this. If it does, definitely top par. Uh, top rated uh, I would say because I'm more enthused about how this sneaker is built in a craftsmanship more than a colorway um, I can't really too much give a comfort rating but if it does feel like the the, the previous ones um, the, the recraft joints if it feels like the recrafts I definitely get a comfort a 8 out of 10 and if you beat these in or break these in for however long, I think at max, you probably get a nine. Nine out of 10 as far as comfort. Overall, like straight, like just a sneaker overall, colorway, all that stuff, um, and model uh, all together, including comfort, providing it got that recraft, since it does look like the recraft model um, with that sleek, sleekness. Uh, overall. This colorway, uh, I give it an 8. On a good day, I give it an 8 out of 10. 8 out of 10. Reverse uh, reverse duck camo, I get those a 9 out of 10 because I'm a little bit more biased. Again, I like the red a little bit more. This, 8 out of 10. If you like this colorway, this is the, you know, definitely what's up. You also got the uh, print going through the tongue as well. So, yep, yep, yep. I know this was kind of fast, but, you know, my battery on the way down. I just want to show you guys what this sneaker looked like definitely worth it definitely worth it guys and um i'm kind of undecided but I, I i might roll with this i might roll with this and if i do roll with this you guys will know hopefully my camera not too damn bright man <clears throat> and and you know you guys will know show this up a little bit closer so you can see the real green you guys will know in the next like sneaker few sneaker rotations if i decided it to really like wear this and keep it and make it my own but yeah and if i do get the reverse duck camos and i sold these i just let y'all know or whatever if it's really y'all 